I had no idea that this would change everything. No, 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 no. All right, turn to page 3,972 in your textbooks. Oh, Thomas. Late again, I see. <laughs> I've noticed there are phones missing from the caddy. Get your shit together, Todd. Caddy, now! Said it's a free country. What, what, what have you done? Who's with me? Yeah! yeah. My fellow Americans, for too long. We have been idly waiting for a leader to free us from the oppression that is spreading throughout our school. Are you going to sit down and stand up when someone tells you to put your phone in the caddy? Or are you going to stand up when someone tells you to sit down? Every day, I watch hundreds of students put their phones in the caddy, the phones that are their property. Last time I checked, this is in communist Russia. We have rights. We have privileges that allow us to stand up, to stick it to the man. And I'm not going to wait around and hope that things change. I'm going to be the change for all of you. Thomas Stanley died two days later, not from swallowing his phone. He got hit by a car. But he probably wouldn't have survived much longer with all the lead and arsenic found in circuit boards and microchips. His bravery and willingness to stand up for what he believes in will always be remembered.